Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are talking about a cancelled Nintendo 64 game. We're also talking about Street Fighter and Guilty Gear. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, Forest of Illusion has done it again. In the past, they've been known to release unreleased copies of N64 games, whether they're completely scrapped projects or beta builds or even alpha builds. Well, today was no different. Forest of Illusion has this tweet that says, Today we have released Dinosaur Planet by Rare for Nintendo 64. The development was halted and moved to the GameCube, where it was then released as Star Fox Adventures. From what I understand, Dinosaur Planet was close to being released on Nintendo 64, but the Nintendo 64 was at end of life. The GameCube was just on the horizon. Since this was supposed to be a really hyped up and really good game, Nintendo decided it would be far more profitable to release it on the GameCube instead obviously tweaked a little bit. Forced of Illusion got their hands on this disc from a private collector based in Sweden. That's a really weird place for this game to end up. Anyways, they say the build is from December 1st, 2000, and it's quite a late build of the game. The GameCube came out in 2001, so about a year later, so this kind of makes sense that Nintendo pulled the game from Nintendo 64 and instead wanted to release it on the GameCube. They do say it will need some hacking to be fully playable to the end, and that's completely understandable considering this is not a final build of the game. It would also be silly to think that they wouldn't be able to hack this, so I'm assuming relatively quickly there will be a full build of this. Interestingly enough though, they say the game will currently not run 100% perfectly on any emulator. Expect many graphical issues with shadows and lighting and some slowdown. It should, however, work perfectly fine with flashcards. With that being said, I think that is perfectly fine, considering this isn't even a final build of the game and this game was never released. If you do want to try it out, well, they've also provided a link. I'll leave a link in the description below if you do want to check it out. And I will say this game looks pretty darn good for a Nintendo 64 title. And if for some reason you just don't feel like playing Dinosaur Planet, well, Star Fox Adventures is pretty darn close considering it is the same game essentially just kind of tweaked. There's even a dinosaur. Next up, we're moving over to Street Fighter, and there's some interesting news here. First is Ryu and Chun-Li are appearing in Fortnite. You have masters of hand-to-hand -hand combat in a third-person shooter. There are a couple different versions of Ryu that appear, and a couple different versions of Chun-Li. There's also going to be some exclusive dance moves and items. Now personally, I think seeing Ryu and Chun-Li in Fortnite is super weird. It's a really weird collaboration, but at the same time it's also a really good collaboration. It's good to see fighting games represented in non-fighting games and on a broader scale. I really like fighting games and having this exposure I think is a really good thing. Now speaking of collaborations and continuing on the theme of Street Fighter, Street Fighter teamed up with Steve Aoki and even Arcade 1UP for some really interesting stuff. First up is this already sold out Dim Mac Arcade 1UP countertop which includes Street Fighter 2 World Warriors, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Final Fight. Steve Aoki also remixed Ryu's theme and released it on a bunch of different platforms. I've listened to it and it sounds pretty great. I highly recommend checking it out. Dim Max stands for Touch of Death, and although the Arcade 1UP Countercade has already sold out, they've also released some other clothing, which looks alright. And speaking of merchandise, just a friendly heads up that there's also some more Street Fighter merchandise floating around that looks pretty cool. This face mask for E Honda looks pretty hilarious. Uh, there's also some great looking shirts, a green hat, and some hoodies. And last up in the news, we have Guilty Gear Strive. Now this game has been incredibly popular over the last few days for both good and bad reasons. The good news is that Guilty Gear has incredible netcode. A lot of people have been raving about how good this netcode is and how great it performs in comparison with a lot of other major fighting games out there. A lot of people are saying it's the best netcode they've seen since Killer Instinct. Now, Guilty Gear Strive isn't the only fighting game to have rollback netcode, but it's one of the only major fighting games to have rollback netcode. And the fact that everyone is raving over this is a huge thing. Hopefully, this shapes online play for fighting games moving forward. The game is a lot of fun to play, the gameplay is good, and I'm extremely excited for the release. But there are a few bad things that people have been complaining about. The lobby system seems to be a pretty hot topic 
topic. There are some good things about it. It's a good idea in principle, but at the same time, it's just not the best implemented. It's not the smoothest experience. Sometimes trying to set up a match doesn't really result in what you're looking for. On top of that, a ton of people have been having a lot of trouble trying to play the beta, whether they're being disconnected from lobbies or booted from the servers altogether. And fortunately, Arc System Works has been listening and they are extending the beta to give more people a chance to test it out. So they are extending it to February 23rd at 6.59 a.m. PST but there is a bit of a hitch. You must have the game files downloaded because they will only be available to download until February 21st at 6.59 a.m. PST. So if you don't have those files downloaded, you better hurry up and get them. With everything I've seen so far, I have really high hopes for Guilty Gear Strive. I think it's going to be an amazing game, and I think Arc System Works is really hitting this one out of the park. I am going to be pre-ordering this one on PC, and I think that's where I'm mainly going to play the game. But if you do want to play the beta, you do have to pre-order it for PS5 or PS4. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on pretty much anything I talked about today in the comments below. Maybe it's about Dinosaur World, maybe it's about Street Fighter, or maybe it's about Guilty Gear Strive. Or maybe it's about everything. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.